Good morning. As treasurer, I've been asked to say a few words during this pledge campaign on the financial situation here at the church. I promise to take just two to three minutes and I will try to limit the amount of figures and statistics. But what I need to do is make you aware of the gap that has appeared in our financials the last few years. I want to illustrate this by taking you back about four to five years. We were in the midst of celebrating our 175th anniversary. We had celebrations and activities and each of the services was peppered with some facts from the prior 175 years. Now think how much has changed since then. For a start, we have a new settled minister. We have other new faces in the staff. Soon we will have a new DRE. We also have AV equipment and technology to broadcast a high quality live service and enhance the in-person experience. We've increased our pledge to the UUA to be fully compliant for a church our size. We're paying four times more than we were just four to five years ago. For some of our part-time staff, we have raised their wages to be compliant with minimum wage guidelines. Where we could, we have trimmed expenses, most notably in some reserves. But still, we find ourselves with $60,000 more of expenses this coming year than we did just four to five years ago. The reason for the gap is that revenues have not kept pace. Pledges make up 80% or more of all our income. Pledges in the current year are 20,000 less than they were during that anniversary year. Now we've been lucky. We plugged that gap in the last few years from a variety of sources. We've gained some money in the trust performance. We've had some bequests. And during the early part of COVID, we had some payroll protection funds. Conversely, we have lost some during COVID. By not being in person, we have not had any fundraising activities and some of that past the plate revenue that we would normally see. I want to stress that this is not a one-time hold. Our expenses are not gonna magically fall. What we need to do is we all need to step up and fund the church, the church we want to represent us. On a lighter note, I want to assure you that compared to many, our church is financially strong. We have a beautiful mortgage-free building. We have strong reserves and solid oversight. Thank you for letting me take the time and happy Easter.